Hi, it's Corrine. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I am making a Christmas wreath with you and I'm using lots of gorgeous Wild Orchid Craft products. So check the description box as well as over on my blog for all the information. I'm showing you a wreath like this. This is what it started out looking like. And I used some white Krylon spray paint and also the Krylon Glitter Blast and took it outside and sprayed it. And here's what it ended up looking like. So I just kind of wanted to show you what it looked like before and after. I got that wreath from the Dollar Tree. I've also seen them at Michael's and Walmart. This project was very fluid for me. It kept changing as I was going. I just pulled out, if you could see my desk, it was a complete wreck. I pulled out tons of Christmas products, tons of um, ornaments, just anything Christmas related, and just kind of decided to use as I went. Um, these here are some beautiful poinsettia flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. I love layering them. I don't end up using this because these are the lighter red and I chose to go with the darker red ones. So like I said, this project's very fluid. I keep changing my mind as I'm going, but I was really happy in the end with how it turned out. So I had this large leaf piece that I thought I wanted to use. I ended up not using it, but I thought I was gonna use it as a focal point. And I'm cutting off the tag. Um, I wanted my main cluster to be on the bottom left here. And I'm using this deer head ornament from the Dollar Tree, really pretty. They have lots of different colors, white, gold, uh, champagne colors. So I chose the white one. And this little snowflake piece I just had in my stash, I'm adding that to the center of the flower. And I end up taking that off in the end, using it somewhere else. But again, I'm at this point still thinking I wanted to use this as a main um, focal piece, but I just didn't like it with the deer head. Actually, if I, if I didn't use it with the deer head, I think I would have liked it. Here are some more little pine cone pieces. I'm using the, uh, pine tree portions of them, just kind of tucking everything around, deciding what I liked and what I didn't like. I have some of these berries that I'm cutting most of the stem off and just kind of tucking that in. And in a moment here, um, I'll start gluing things down. Look at these beautiful berry cluster sprays from Wild Orchid Crafts. I love them. They're frosted. They are so pretty. I use a lot of those throughout uh, this project. So I'm going to use my hot glue and adhere down that large piece, just holding it in place for a few minutes until the hot glue dries. Also using some E6000 underneath everything and then the hot glue will adhere it right away but the E6000 will make sure that it stays on throughout time. So those flowers there are the Christmas pretty flory flowers. They are so pretty and they're more of a, a darker red which I really liked on this project. That's why I, I end up not using the poinsettia flowers because they're a little bit of a brighter red which is really pretty. I just didn't like the contrast of each other right next to each other. So that's why I stuck with the dark ones. So here's where I kind of peel everything apart, or at least I'm considering peeling it apart. I pulled out some little jingle bells that I had. And I do think I end up using one. And this is where I decided to change my mind. I liked this as a focal piece much better using three of these pretty flory Christmas flowers. They come in white and green. I use some more up at the top here towards the end as well. And now I'm adding the E6000 and hot glue to my little deer head to adhere him down. And he was kind of a little wobbly, so I also tucked in a flower underneath him that kind of held him in place. Here's where I'm cutting off these frosted berries and I just kind of added them throughout. These are so pretty. I used these last year on a couple projects as well, and I love them. I wanted to add it to the center of this flower, so I just kind of, over in my trash can, I, di I did it off camera because it, they would have went everywhere. I just kind of pulled off the little jewel pieces, which um, I was able to pick them off into my trash, and now I'll add the berry to the center of that flower.
And then I'm adding some of those little berries throughout using both the E6000 and the hot glue. You want to make sure to use E6000 in a well ventilated room. I actually sit right in front of my window. So even though it was freezing out, I opened up my window to make sure that I had some ventilation while using it. Otherwise it, it can give you a headache, but it really holds well. So again, tucking a few more. And now I pulled out these little ornaments, glitter ornaments, again from the Dollar Tree. Cut the tops off because you wouldn't see those. And then I will tuck a couple of those around. I had a mess with glitter everywhere. <laughs> I do use a, a Swiffer um, dust cleansing thing to clean up the glitter. I know I saw Jennifer McGuire use that a long time ago. So ever since then, I keep them in my craft room and they really do help. So here's some just random leafy red gold, or excuse me, red glitter uh, branches that I had. So I'm just gonna tuck a few of those. Those are really pretty. And here's where I tuck one of those little ornaments. Here I pulled out, I wanted to add some more of the silver, so I had those little silver glitter balls um, from another little spray that I had in my stash. So I'm gonna tuck a few of those here and there just to tie in that silver from this, the glitter ornaments. And then I love that little snowflake piece, so I wanted to use it, I added it right to the front there and I love the addition of that. I wish I knew where I got that. I would like to have more of those. Here are some poinsettia sprays from Wild Orchid Crafts. I love buying the sprays and then cutting them apart. You really get a lot of use out of them. So here I'm just going to add one of the little pine cones. I think I think I might add another pine. Yeah, I add another pine cone here. And then I still have that entire spray to use for other projects. And I think it was only like a dollar or two. So here's the Swiffer Max. I got the large ones because I did um, have them for my hardwood floors. I just cut those down to the size that I need. And I had to, my desk was driving me absolutely crazy. So I had to kind of clean it before I finished. So you'll see me clean up here and then go back to the wreath. I put away a lot of the stuff that I knew that I was done with at that point. Here's this Deco Art Snow Text. And I went ahead and added that just randomly to add little snowflakes um, or the appearance of little snow on the flowers and the wreath itself. I will be adding another cluster to the top right of the wreath here. So I will be adding more of this to that as well, just to tie it all in. I went ahead and cleaned that up with a baby wipe right away, just to make sure it didn't dry on there and cleaned up my desk. The craft mat, that red craft mat, is also from the Dollar Tree. I love it because it saves my mat underneath, which I've already replaced because I got um, so much stuff on it that I could not get cleaned off. So I had to replace it. So now I kind of try and keep it covered with this craft mat. This, If you get hot glue or anything on it, it just wipes right off. I found it, if you're looking for it and they still have it, I found it in the children's the toy section. So here I'm adding some more of those pretty flory flowers. These are the Christmas green and red ones. Again, all of this will be listed in the description box. And a little more of that pine needles. And then, of course, I had to add more of those frosted berry sprays. Like I said, those are my absolute favorite. And you really get, you get a huge cluster and they come in all different colors. They have um, red and white and gold, tons to choose from tying in a few more of those little silver glitter balls. And 
And then here's where I finish up adding that snow text to the top as well. I made sure to add it to the wreath too throughout. So I hope you'll be able to see that throughout the um, detailed photos at the end. I'm using my heat gun just to get rid of any hot glue strings. It just makes any of them dissipate. And here's my finished wreath. I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and I will see you back on the next video.